And uh, I got my coffee, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm here, here. Welcome, please like, subscribe if you would like more of me in your life. So uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna talk about something and I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about it, but you know what? I should just like confidently lay it out there and, and, and see, see what everyone thinks of them. Okay, so I didn't even, I didn't come up with this idea. You know, I don't come up with any of this. None of us do. It just comes down through the ether. It does actually. Um, I wanna talk about the multiverse. I don't know what that sound was. For those of you who don't know, the multiverse is, you know, that we we have this understanding of the universe. Firstly, I don't think we like give enough um, attention and importance to the universe. Like, like we cannot even grasp. We really have no idea what on earth that means. We all talk about it, but but can you actually grasp like what that means? Can you actually grasp the concept of space? That above us, there was this like inky, black, floating, miraculous, like just expanse. And it just goes on and on. Like that, that is real. That has been, that is real. That has been proven. We can see it. We have pictures that just, I don't, I don't think we give enough thought to that. Like we're so concerned about these stupid things that happen here on earth when there's space. Huh. <sighs> So there's the universe, right? And the, which started with the Big Bang. This is like, this is what we've been told. But obviously we just have a very small idea. Um, if you can look at like the, the progress of human beings and our understanding of reality, um, obviously we're missing huge portions of how this all happened and how this all worked because you know, just just 50 years ago, we had a completely different concept of what was going on and, and it continues to like um, exponentially grow. But anyway, the Big Bang, universe, boo! Okay, there's another theory, hypothesis about a multiverse. Multiverse doesn't sound big enough for what this actually means. It's like, so there's the universe, and then there's multiple universes and potentially infinite universes, infinite realities that are all happening simultaneously. So it's all, it's all here. It's all like stacked one on top of the other and, um, and so, you know, like, I think, I think the best thing I've seen do this is Rick and Morty, actually. They explore this. So good. Anyway, so within this multiverse, there are multiple versions of you, obviously. And there's obviously also multiple versions of the universe where you don't exist. You're not there, or maybe you're someone else. Uh, maybe you're someone else. And okay, let's go. So I mean, we can get like, talking about the, the multiverse, you know, there's way too many factors that I don't really want to go into for this specific video because it's like, it's infinite, right? But let's stay to you, you and your life. Do I look, I look, I look a little pale. Okay, let's, let's stick on you. So in this multiverse where there are infinite versions of you, infinite, and they're all happening, like they're all here, we can't see them, but they're all happening simultaneously. 
feel like this goes together. So they're all happening simultaneously. And I also think this is a, a kind of separate subject, but the way that we understand time, I don't think is actually how time really works. Now I'm, I'm like not teaching all of you this. I just want to make that clear because I'm there with you trying to make sense of it all. And the more I sit with this and the more I like kind of go out in my day and I experience it and I live, I live my life, the more this feels true though, the more this feels like actually this is what's happening. So with time, we think of time as being horizontal, right? Like that happened back there and this is going to happen next. And it's like the way we read a sentence in the Western world. However, it seems to me, and there are people who talk about this, that that time is not horizontal, but it's vertical. So all of time is also happening all at once and it's stacked one on top of the other. So as we move through time, we're not actually going across in a line and leaving a time behind us. We're actually just jumping into other dimensions of time, into other versions, right? Of us in other places within time. That like time is a location, not a, I don't even, not a, not a place. Wait, that's the same thing. That time is a like, is a, maybe it's more of a like, um, an energy, like a wave is a different reality, not a different, uh, it's not linear. That's the best way I can, I can describe it. I really hope I continue to do videos on this so that I get better at communicating these very big ideas. I, I don't have a PhD, so I'm doing the best I can, okay? Okay, so that goes with this image of like, of, this is all quantum physics, by the way, of this idea of infinite variables of you and infinite variables of your life. And um, so a way to think about this is instead of like moments passing, you know, and time moving, actually what you're doing is you're just jumping through all these separate frames that are happening all at once. And you'll, you just get to move through the frames based on your expectation of the next thing. So it's like, yeah, the best way to think of this is like a movie, you know? We know that a movie actually isn't moving. Human brains put it together that it's moving when we put it fast and when we like create the clips and we make enough clips that it's fast enough that the human brain can stream them all together. That's actually happening in life. So there's just clips of this infinite source of moments that we as beings experiencing life are putting together and streaming through one single lifetime or like a coherent story. And that also plays into the idea that like human beings are, we're just like meaning making machines. So we're the ones that are creating a sense of there being like, of there being a kind of coherent lifespan. We're the ones doing that and one single lifespan too, right? We're the ones going from here to there and tracking all of that. It's not actually necessarily that way. It's just that that's our expectation and that's like the general consensus of what happens. And so that's how we perceive it or that's how we've perceived it up till now. And we don't have to perceive it like that if we can somehow broaden our consciousness and our awareness of what reality actually is. I love, I love this so much. I love this so much. And I'm deep, I'm obviously like deeply, deeply passionate about this. Uh, but at the same time, it can be v very disorienting and, and 
so I go through my day like kind of thinking about this and wondering about this and I wake up in the morning and I'm like and I, I don't know where I am or what's going on and I'm I'm like constantly observing like what's where did that come from where did that come from um but it's also a very comforting thought and this this is something that I uh that I've put together recently for why this is a great, great way to look at life is, I don't know about any of you, but whenever I have wanted to let go of an aspect of myself or let go of, um, you know, yeah, just like an old version of myself, I did feel this hint of sadness and remorse and fear about letting that person go because it felt to me like I was I had to kill off something that even though it wasn't what I wanted for myself anymore it still was dear to me it still was me and I and I loved that girl and I and I wanted to protect her and I didn't want to abandon her for some better version it did feel like I had to, you know, kill off your darlings. It was like, but that's my darling. I can't, I can't kill her off. And you know, then, then you do it and you're like, oh, well, whatever, it's so much better over here. I didn't have to stay stuck there and be loyal to, to that. So, but with all of this thinking about the multiverse and infinite parallel realities, what I realized is I'm not killing her off. Like there's that version continues to exist in some other parallel reality. So I can't actually kill her. I can't actually kill her. She's like, she's there. I'm not actually doing any of it. It's just that I move, I move into a different reality where this version gets to be. And so I don't kill or create anything. I just move. I like slip through the quantum field, and I got to experience what I want to experience. That's how I'm thinking about it. Okay, so ah, I'm, I'm so nervous about sharing all of this with you, but please let me know what you all think about this, if you think about this, if you all think I'm crazy. I, I want to talk about this, okay? Okay. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Be well. Bye.